everybody and welcome today's second video second video of the day is the boxycharm premium choices for october yep that's right we're going to be talking about what your choices are for your october premium box so before we jump into the video if you guys are new here hi hello and welcome my name's ron and over here we always embrace the hot mess i upload all the time everything from sneak peek spoilers to get ready with me's makeup reviews unboxings you name it i'm pretty much doing it over here so i'd love for you guys to stick around subscribe turn on that notification bell because you just never know when a video or an extra video may be popping up. Also make sure to follow me over on Instagram because I do have a giveaway going on. I am trying very, very hard to get a 10K following over there by the end of 2020. And of course I'm trying to get 30K over here on YouTube. So as soon as I hit that 30K, there'll be a giveaway as well as I'm jumping back over to Instagram. Once we hit 10K over on Instagram, there will be another giveaway. And like I said, there's currently a giveaway going on over there. Okay guys, I'm going to rush through this video because my children are now requesting lunch. So I'm going to give you guys all the information and then I'm gonna hop off and make them lunch. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. talking about the boxycharm premium choices for october now if you guys are new to boxycharm and you're wondering what the premium membership or subscription is it is a monthly subscription it is 35 dollars a month and you will receive at least 175 dollars worth of goodies and you do get to customize one of the items in the box i'm super excited about the items that we get to choose from this month and let's just go ahead and jump right into it now keep in mind the items i'm going to talk about the choice window is only open for about 24 hours so the choices are now open it is live and i'm going to try and hurry up and edit this video pop it up for you guys so you can get in there and hopefully help you with making your choices the first item we're going to talk about is Vicosis, which this is fairly new to BoxyCharm. We did see the sneak peek spoiler about a month or two ago with the new mascara that came out by Kosas, and now we're seeing Kosas in our box. This is the Kosas Tinted Face Oil Foundation. It has a retail value of $42. I'm pulling all of this information straight from, straight from Sephora's website. This does have a Best of Beauty Award winner from Allure and in 2019 I'm pretty excited about this I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to review it so I went ahead and made this as my choice there was about I want to say like 16 choices of shades we could choose from now keep in mind this is a tinted face oil type of foundation so with that being said it's going to be very lightweight it's not going to be one of those things that has got a lot of opacity to it where you need a large shade range so a little information about it it's a clean and comfy makeup active skincare blend that is made with six nourishing botanical oils to moisturize and even tone. The coverage is lightweight, the finish is natural, the formulation is liquid, and it's good for skin types that are normal, dry, combo, and oily. Highlighted ingredients are avocado oil, metafoam oil, moisturizes and plumps the skin's appearance, red raspberry oil and jojoba oil soothes, and chamomile, I think I said it right, seed oil and rose hip seed oil balances and brightens the skin so i'm pretty excited about that like i said that is what i went ahead and chose as my choice next we're sticking with Kosas, and there are two other items we can choose from and again i'm going to be pulling straight from sephora's website as far as this goes and they are blush and highlight options now from what I could tell when I was like hurrying up and getting me in there and making my choices, it looks like the blush options are a blush and highlighter duo. My understanding is one is cream and one is going to be a powder type of blush duo. They do have a retail value of $34. It does look like there are multiple shades you can choose from as far as that goes. And a little information about these, I'm going to just read off of the creme, cream, blush, and highlighter duo as far as the details. It says it is 
Ultra Blendable Cream Blush Highlighter Palette in Versatile Duos, a balancing, brightening, a foolproof, clean, and skin conditioning formulas. Each do duo is available in two levels of intensity for color and complements every mood and every skin tone. There is apricot kernel seed oil, rose hip seed oil, and jojoba seed oil. This product is vegan, cruelty free, and gluten free as well. Now, like I said, it does appear that you are going to get a powdered type of blush and highlight to choose from, or you can choose from the cream and blush highlighter. Like I said, uh, as far as the price goes, both of them pulling straight from Sephora have a retail value of $34, and it is considered a clean brand at Sephora. Now, you guys know... I actually did a sneak peek spoiler for you guys where we've already seen two other items it, that will be in the premium box for October and I have to say y'all I really thought it was going to come out to be that was what our choices were going to be but it does sound like now these are going to be different variations we will see in the premium box. So the first one I'm going to go ahead and pull it up for you guys. The first one we're going to be talking about is by Murad and this was the Murad hydration hydrating toner that does have a retail value of $35 so now you're going to know one item in the box which is of course what you're going to be choosing and then we may see or you may see the hydrating toner like I said from Murad or you will be seeing the Clarins instant smooth protect perfecting touch and this is a primer type of item that does have a retail value of $39. Both of these items have great reviews as far as that goes and I'm really excited about this premium box. I have to say this is October. We are almost done thank God with 2020 and I have to say BoxyCharm is really like stepping it up and finishing the year out super strong which has me Oh, I can't wait because like I told you guys we already know there's going to be a Natasha Denona coming soon. I don't know which box, but there was also some sneak peek spoilers like I showed you guys. If you guys are following me over here, I posted in our community section yesterday. Joe was just randomly being Joe, and he had made a video, and in the background, we saw a little bit of Sunday Riley, so we know Sunday Riley is going to be coming back. We've also seen, which I saw the picture, and I'll post what I got from, I think it was Instagram or maybe it was over on Facebook I don't remember where his video was that I found his video and there was a bunch of eyeshadow shades that we saw in there and I'm like what is that from well it turns out y'all did a little investigation and it is another hip dot palette which has me so so excited because this past month we saw the hip dot Zion palette in our I think it, we've some saw it in their base and I believe some saw it in their luxe box. I was lucky enough to receive that in my paid for and I flip and love it. Like I love the formulas from Hip Dot. It's a very affordable brand and it has insane pigmentation. And you guys know how I feel about the blues. I think the blues are so, so pretty. I do get a little nervous that I'll turn into like the Mimi from Drew Carey show. However, that doesn't mean that I don't like having blue eyeshadow. So I'm definitely curious as to where we are going to see this next hip dot palette there was also a TikTok that came across it and I slowed it down and I maybe I'll play it over here for you guys but there's some sneak peek spoilers in there we also seen a, uh, another hip dot palette that is the Spongebob palette as well and there were so many different things so I'll come back and do more information for you guys as far as that goes we've also seen some sneak peeks for some different uh, facial palettes or blush palettes I'm just there's just so much there's so much and like I said we're seeing Sunday Riley as another sneak peek which is absolutely amazing it was the good jeans and I am like oh my gosh when are we gonna see that because as you guys know that was the first lactic acid I ever used which was by Sunday Riley Haley currently uses it as well and she absolutely loves it so with that being said let me know well I already Love you. Love you. Drive safe. You got a mask? Yeah. Okay. Love you. Drive safe. Sorry, guys. My husband was leaving. 
<laughs> so anyways guys like i said the sunday riley good jeans is absolutely amazing and if you guys follow me over here you are subscribed you'll see that i post as soon as we see some sneak peek spoilers that i'm super excited about i post them in our community section as well as i also post when there's like really good makeup deals and styles and whatnot that i'm like oh you guys need to know about this so anyways guys if you guys are curious about my outfit i am wearing another dress yet again from Glitzy Girls Boutique. You guys know that is my favoriteest or one of my favoriteest boutiques out there. They offer regular sizes all the way up to curvy girl sizes. I think 6X is what I've seen. So I love the different variations that we get over there. And a lot of you guys are like, Rhonda, you have now made me obsessed with Glitzy Girl Boutique. I'm like, I'm like, I know. I'm telling you, every flippin' day I am checking out that boutique. It's absolutely amazing. I will have this link down below for you guys as well. It's super cozy. I will let you guys know, this feels more of like a, like a polyester maybe. There's not much stretch, there's not much give or anything like that as far as that goes. And it does tie in the back. It's super cute and I am like the epitome of fall for me. Cause you guys know, I like my animal print. So anyways guys, that's all the information I have for you guys now. So like I said, the choice window is open for about 24 hours. You can jump in there, you can make your choices. Like I said, I wanna say there was like 16 different shades as far as the facial oil went and multiple shades as far as the cream and the powder blushers go of course let your girl know down below what your choices were and if you guys want to sign up for boxy charm whether that be the base box or or maybe getting on the wait list if there's a wait list for the premium box i will have a link in the description box down below as well as in the comment section below for you guys if you guys are interested in signing up just letting you guys know it is an affiliate link so i will earn a little bit of a commission so thank you guys in advance for that if you do use my link to sign up like I said, the add-ons are still live. I just went back in there and I double checked and I'm pretty excited about it. All kinds of, you know what the one thing is that I'm a little bummed out that I haven't seen for add-ons is the Tan Luxe Oil um, Lotion. It's like the tanning lotion. I've got that stuff on and I flip and love it. It's very thin. It's very lightweight, but it moisturizes like a lotion, but tans you like the tanning drops or like the foam or whatever you want to call it. And it's not an add-on. And I was so flipping bummed because I was so hoping it was. It's like $33 at Sephora. Anyways, welcome to my rambles. I'm going to hop off. I'm going to hurry up and edit this for you guys and make my kids well, first I'm going to make my kids lunch, then I'm going to edit and upload this for you guys. So I hope you are having a wonderful, fabulous Thursday wherever you are. Leave me a comment down below what you are most excited about for the premium. What did you guys end up choosing? And let me know, have you tried out the face oil? Like I said, I know a lot of you guys were wanting me to review it. So I will definitely be coming back and doing that for you guys as well. So until next time, friends, as always, I hope you have a wonderful beautiful and blessed day. Kisses from Kentucky. Mwah.